Not what I expected. There's the camp. These ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? Nothing but a tablet. I wonder what it says. So, the light beams are the key. aligned. in the right position.
Something's blocking this. Something's in the way. I think I've got it. Why would my father be here? Watch my step. What is this place? Time to take a dive. This place is huge.
Hello? Icarus! <laughs> Traitor. Greetings, Alexios. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible. I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century, if memory serves. And yet, here I am, standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. Mirini, my mother. She sent me here to find you. Mirini. She sent you here because she knew this was your destiny. My destiny? There's more at stake than any one mind can comprehend. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to seal it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Alexios. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. Why should I help you? You were never there for me. You endured what you had to in order to be strong enough for what's to come. I never asked for any of this. Our destiny's a burden we must shoulder. It is not something we choose. What would you have me do? The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis? I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But... I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious. We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? <sighs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out.
I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Obstago. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. There! That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Said that assassin sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! I'm gonna miss the London Loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Theta. Kyoshi, are you all right? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near a workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. How did they build all this? What I wouldn't pay for an ISU toolbox. This is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but... Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. Layla to Altair 2? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes! By the gods, Layla, it's Atlantis! How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. Think, Layla, think! There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Alexis to show me how he got farther inside. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline. 
and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me? In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed, and they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis, and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. This place is like a tomb. How did you live down here? And for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding stilies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. I need... I need to find the artifact that fits here. I need to find the artifact...
Come on. I need to talk to him. He must be the one Pythagor. The lair of the Sphinx. Impressive. Oh my, I'm Mystios. What are you doing here? My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of the Otia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. Where is it? Unfortunately, my apprentice was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I will do everything I can to find your missing apprentice. I appreciate the help, Mistios. I am very worried about my pivos. Where was your apprentice heading? We heard rumors of a sighting near the tomb of Menikefs in Viotia. What was Pibos looking for? There was a cave discovered that might contain items of great significance. I sent him to validate the claims before I made the journey myself. Don't worry. I'll find out what happened to Pibos. He's over there. <laughs> this must be Pibos, or what's left of him. The creature that killed Pibos must have eaten the amulet.
perfectly. This must be the key. Let's move. Off we go now. Oh. <laughs> Statue, it's gone. Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! This statue came alive! I am no statue, child. If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? What are you? The Sphinx. The guardian of truth and knowledge. Why are you here? The gods sent me to protect something, and I've been its guardian ever since. I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. What can bring back the dead? Make you cry, make you laugh, make you young is born in an instant, yet lasts a lifetime. Memories. Huh. You're full of surprises. As small as your thumb, I am light in the air. You may hear me before you see me, but trust that I'm there. A mosquito! A likely answer. What is large yet never grows? has roots that cannot be seen, and is taller than trees. A mountain. How fascinating. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned, and touch the symbols that reflect your choices.
Fear not. You have more questions. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. I need to find the artifact that fits here. I need to find the artifact that fits here. had many questions for me. You should have come along. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Call me Alethea. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, Isu, who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me, would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? I am taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as easy as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelation. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alethea won control of this place. influences is gone in my present anyway. Juno's power was immense. I never would have been able to transmit these recordings if she was still here. 
And here you're supposed to listen and be impressed by the precursor monument around you. They want to make sure you remember this island, no matter how often it was renamed Tira Calista Atlantis. The precursors were proud of this monstrosity. They wanted it to be an indestructible repository of their knowledge. Precursor sites have often included an educational mapping. You have more questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between in people have always irked. That's all I wanted to know. I should go. Yes, there is much.
The legendary Knossos. Once palace to King Minos. that chest. It's mine. I'm no thief, but if I was, I'd want something more valuable. Take that back! These ruins are an <clears throat> interesting place to set up camp. What brings you here? A long time ago, Below this very spot, my batter, the great adventurer Nikios, entered the labyrinth to steal the Minotaur's treasure. As they waited outside, I heard shouts and roars. Then his men came pouring out. His men... I need to save him. Tragic tale. But last I heard, the Minotaur was living in Pefka. He's quite famous. They don't know what they're talking about. The real Minotaur is in Mesara. That's what they said in Pefka. It's a scam. Trust me, I know scams. Where is he then? You said the labyrinth was beneath us. Yeah, there's a creepy looking trapdoor beneath the temple. Take me there, and I will slay the Minotaur and find your putters. Find your putter. You? You'll do that? The Minotaur will die, and I will find your pattern. Thank you, Mistios. No one ever believes me. <laughs> Just calm down and take me to the labyrinth. What's your name? Artos. Now follow me. The entrance is way down on the ground. It's down, this way. This place is going to blow your mind, Mistios. There's a huge room, and there's a huge hole in the ground, with a huge door. Everybody keeps going on about the cow. The cells killed the Minotaur. Lies. I heard it. A roar, like... like a rolling thunder. Yeah, that's it. The Minotaur is still alive, and hungry. Great. I'm glad you came along. No pattern has a shot of getting out of that damn labyrinth. Really did have to put the entrance this deep. Here we are. Isn't this amazing? I've seen some things, Ardos, but this is amazing. So the Minotaur lies beneath Knossos' palace. Open the door. I've got a Minotaur to slay. Ah. Oh. Right. It's locked. Don't worry. We'll find a way. You must know something. I don't. But the guys who went into the labyrinth with my batter will. I tried talking to them, but... But they won't speak to me. They'll speak to me. Who are these people? The Collector, Swordfish, and my old caretaker. My old caretaker. Boring old man. Never wanted to talk to me about my pater or the Minotaur. So I left him to find out the truth on my own. Huh. Bold. And the Collector is this guy who buys weird stuff. He's a merchant in Gortin. Oh! And the last guy, they call him... Swordfish. <laughs> of course. He's the boss of Octopus Bay, and he's mean.
Where should I start looking for? Swordfish. Fisherman's Beachhead in Heracleon would be your best bet. No one's seen him in years. Some think he's dead. Swordfish? He must have a long pointy nose. No, no, he's really good with a sword and he's really good with a fish, I guess. This collector, where is he? He lives in Gartin, near some red pillars, in a crazy house with lots of stuff. I've borrowed some trinkets from him. He has so many, he never even noticed. Don't let me catch you borrowing from me. From you? I would never get caught. Tell me more about this old man. Okay. So my old caretaker recently sent me a message about wanting to meet in Festos. That's nice of him. <laughs> he never answered me about my father or the Minotaur. Ever. That's why I left in the first place. I'll go in your place and see what I find. The message said to meet him at our old house, northeast of here, near Festos. I'll make sure they all talk. Must be the hoarder. The collector. Dust collector, maybe. I'm here about the Minotaur. The. No, no, no. I don't. I can't. I don't know anything about the Minotaur. Ardos sent me. He says you know things. Ardos? The boy. Never talk to the boy. We all promised. I'm not here to break bones. I'm here for information. Give it to me, and I'll be on my way. I'll answer your questions, but you won't ask the right one. Can we not play games? Fine. You're going to need Theseus's armor, which I sold to be part of a collection at the fort. There's nothing wrong with my armor. Nikios thought his armor was the finest in the Greek world. He could have worn Theseus's when we found it. But I was the perfect fit. Minotaur struck me right in the chest. Should have died. Nikios? Don't make Nikios's mistake. Wear Theseus's armor. What do you know of the boy? Son of Nikios. Stubborn. A little shit. His father's son. You remember him fondly enough, yet you refuse to speak to him. If I speak, he might not listen. The truth is armor against little, Mistios. You said you sold Theseus's armor. Who has it? A military commander, stationed in the fort. He has a cave filled with all sorts of prizes. The armor is his crown jewel. Sounds like a hard thing to part with. No, easy. That armor, it would have saved Nikios. It would have saved the boy's father. Yet, I wore it. I didn't deserve. The armor haunted me. No point keeping ghosts in my collection. Breathe, Collector. I've learned enough. 
If Theseus's armor is still in the fort, I'll find it. There are more pieces of Theseus's armor. I've only managed to attain two of them. But someone stole one from me. If you find it, you can have it. But give whoever took it a piece of my mind, and perhaps a piece of your blade. The hidden cave. Careful. High security here. His armor. It is real. I wonder how many more pieces of Zeus' armor are there. This must be Ardos's house. Where's the boy? Ardos. You're his caretaker? Of course. I need to speak with him. Don't worry about Ardos. He's safe. Far from here. Hmm. Where is he? I was told to expect an old man. You don't look the part. I... It's very important I see him. Who told you about the boy? Speak! It's nothing personal with the boy or the old man, but if I tell you anything, I am good as... Dead? Guess what will happen if you don't tell me anything. Oh, okay. What is it you want to know? Where is the old man? They're at Festos village. 
Southwest of here. They got him tied to a post and they're beating him. What is to happen to the boy? I don't know, Mistyos. They just told me to bring him back. But we both know what they're capable of. And you'd bring them an innocent boy? You'd stand by as an old man gets beaten. B but And you agree to kidnap the boy? They're just up the road! The cult! Go kill them all! You'll be doing me a favor, too. Let me go, and I won't tell anyone what happened. I'll let Zeus decide your fate. I need to find the old man. Thank you, Mistyos. The old man is alive. I should check the temple in Festos. There is the old man amongst those guards. The old man is here. I should watch my step around here. told you everything I know. Wait, wait. Who are you? Ardo sent me. Can you walk? The boy. Thank the gods. Let's get out of here before they return. Breathe, old man. Ardos, the boy. Is he safe? Uh, alive? He's made a lot of enemies with his charm. At least he's safe from any danger I may have caused him. I'm looking for a way into the labyrinth. Ardos said you might know something. 
I know this. That place is death. What drove everyone out of the labyrinth? Something must have happened. I never went inside. I'm not a fool. But Nikios wanted me to watch the boy. I stayed outside and prayed. But I heard it. The Minotaur. Two returned. But Nikios. Ardos said his father is in the labyrinth. Is this true? Yes. He never came out. Though two who did, will never truly escape it. Ardo says you refuse to speak or talk to him about his father. How can anyone tell a boy the person he looks up to, his father, and only family, is dead? What I can do in Nukios' honor is to stop his son from entering that cursed place. Why would they hurt you? When the survivors fled the Minotaur, they left behind a disc. The key to the labyrinth. And I kept it. Then why do they think Ardos has it? Because he does. He stole it from me. And I told them about it. <laughs> they tortured me, Mystios. <laughs> I, I tried not to break. I failed him. I failed him all these years. The people who tortured you belong to a powerful cult. And they have broken stronger men than you. You can still make things right with Ardos. As smart as he is, he still needs someone to look out for him. Family, he needs you. He doesn't even want to see me, Miss Neos. Keep trying. <laughs> About the disc. He doesn't know his true purpose, Miss Neos. With it, you'll be able to open the labyrinth. Just promise to keep him safe. He'll be safe with me. I should ask Ardos if the old man is telling the truth. Fishermen should know something about swordfish. I'm looking for swordfish. Can you help? Piss off, Malacca! Hey, Mistyus! 
Over here! Fishmonger, I'm looking for swordfish. Shh! Are you crazy? You don't find swordfish. Swordfish finds you. Now go. <laughs> I hear you're looking for a certain fish. Yes, swordfish. I hope you know what you're in for. He's ruthless, cut off a man's nose just for sneezing. Why is it that every time I mention his name, people jump? Swordfish controls Heraklion and everyone in it. Where is he? No one's seen him in a long time. But there's a rumor he controls Heraklion from a hideout underground. That's ridiculous. It's all I know, Mistress. If he's so dangerous, why are you talking to me? I'm old, tired, sick of bowing down to pay fees. If you can take him out, we're all better for it. Not another word out of you, Malaka. I have orders. Everyone who talks about swordfish must die. My God. What's the problem? My husband is missing. He went out fishing yesterday near Nafi and hasn't returned. You must miss him. This is more than a wife missing her husband. I truly fear he's in danger. In danger of what? Pirates. They were spotted in the area recently. I told them it was too dangerous, but we needed the Rahmi to pay sword fees. Tell me about swordfish. My husband knows more about him than I do. Please save him, and he'll tell you anything. If pirates got to him, he may already be dead. I can't give up hope. He has a fast ship. If he saw the pirates, he'd head to the nearest shore. I could rescue your husband, for a price. Please, I'll find a way to pay. Just get him back. I'll look for your husband. Where should I start? His favorite fishing spot is on the west coast of Anafi, north of here. If he's alive, I'll find him.
I don't think this boat can take those waves. There'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. Seem strangely excited, you know, to those.
the oars. Archers, ready yourselves. Get them! sent me to find you. Praise Poseidon! The pirates were waiting for high tide to attack. We need to leave now. I'll escort you back to Heraklion. I'm right behind you.
I owe you beyond measure. How can I repay you? There is enough widows in this world. We didn't need another. I was happy to help. We're behind on our payments to short fees, so your kindness is appreciated. But here, take this. Tell me about Swordfish. Swordfish? Uh, even his name? I last saw him many years ago, diving for treasure around Fisherman's Beacon. I haven't seen him since. But his presence is felt everywhere in Heraklion. He is here, somewhere. I should check out the waters near the beacon. Huh. Come on!
you'd come. Dog! Dog of Cosmos! Have you come to bite? I have nothing to do with the cultists. Think I believe you! You're mad! I'm here for the... I won't go back! I won't go back in there! I don't care if I owe the cult. I want out! You want that artifact! Go fetch it! Once a cultist, always a cultist. What do you want from me then, Vimos? Answers. And you will give them to me. What happened in there that drove you to... this? The Minotaur happened! I was lucky! Nikios, though. The Cosmos promised me everything! Not this! How did you end up here? I'm hiding amongst the filth. And from it, I can't show my face anymore. But Heraklion is still mine! All its fish and all its people! You're insane. How did you get into the labyrinth? Nikios had a key. He put it into the stele. But you can't go in there. He'll kill you. It'll get out and kill us all! You underestimate me. That's what Nikio said! I'll feed you to the sharks! Find Rachmi anywhere if you look hard enough. All it takes is a little persuasion.
broken man, haunted by the Minotaur to the very end. You. Whatever it was, I didn't steal it. The old caretaker said you. Go. He told you stuff? Did he tell you anything about my pather? No, he didn't, but... What about the collector? He said you're like your pather. Really? That's nice to know. Look, the old caretaker said you... Wait, wait, wait. And swordfish? What did he say? You found him, right? He said the key goes in the steely. Oh, I know where the steely is. But wait, what's this key you're talking about? The old man said you stole something from him. No, I didn't. Wait, what did he accuse me of stealing? The key to the labyrinth? A disc? Oh... You mean this old thing? I always wondered what it was for. Swordfish mentioned there was a place to put the disc, in a steely. Oh, so what do we do now? If we put the disc into the steely, the entrance to the labyrinth should open. Then I see about the Minotaur. And... and you'll save my pattern too, right? Ardos, I... don't... I don't think your pater is still... He's alive, I know it. We just have to hurry. Looks like a piece of Theseus' armor.
can't be Minon. What is this? Malaka. It's real. By the gods. The strings the Seos used to navigate the labyrinth. Let's see what's at the end. of rage did this. This must be Nikios. A ring. Ardos might want this. Oh. 
The Minotaur is dead. Thanks for your help, Ardos. Where's Petr? I searched the labyrinth and... I'm... sorry, Ardos. Sorry? Why? Ardos. The Minotaur was no ordinary monster. And Pater isn't just a regular guy. He's a hero. He might have been your hero, but... He must be alive. Find him. He's dead, Ardos. We can't raise the dead. But we can move on. I'm afraid I'll forget him. I don't want to forget him. Take it. To remember him by. Better ring? Thank you. Thank you. We should get out of here. What will you do now? I don't know, Mistios. Without Better. I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out together. Artos. Remember, you're never alone. There will always be people who care. Stay out of trouble, boy. You know I can promise you that. I'll make sure of it, Mistios. Thank you. Let's go home, Aldos. I'd like that. I'm sorry I stopped this. I understand. And your amulet. What amulet? And your ring collection. So that's where... And your memoir. I haven't finished those. By the gods. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We issue...
future, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors at endless challenges. Careful. Don't want to be caught here. My godly gifts and know the truth of my words. No need to thank me for your rescue. Your lack me is thanks enough. Me? Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience! Meet me by my personal statue so we may continue. worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me. 
and I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods. If being locked naked in a cell makes someone a god, the pantheon would be overflowing. Maybe Embedocles is a god, maybe he's not. All I know is that he doesn't beat young men to death. I follow you proudly. Brothers, sisters of Githira, join me. You think betraying Aphrodite will go unpunished? You may not believe in my godliness, Mystios, but I believe there's some god in you, and that we can put to use. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Uh, clothes would do you some good. You're just scared of my true form. But there's another matter we need to discuss. I'll help you. How often do you get the help of God? Of my caliber? Never. Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying, yes. What did you need? A god never needs help. But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? Family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. You said this robe thief intercepted you at the dock. Do you know where he is now? He and his guards patrol along Kithera's main roads. But he enjoys roughing up recent arrivals. The gods would protect themselves with more than a locked door opened by a disc. Oh, but you should see the door, Mystios. Something so beautiful was not crafted by mortal hands. And my brothers, my sisters, I hear them calling me home from beyond it. What are your godly brothers and sisters really like, Empedocles? As any sibling loving. Filled with strife. They once caught me eating lamb and cast me out. Though, between you and me, that lamb... Mm. Worth it. The gods wait for no one. Patience is not one of our virtues, no. Will you help? This disc sounds important. I'll find the man who stole it and return it to you. Found him. We must party. Purple dye might stink like rotten dog guts, but I'll be fucked if it doesn't make me look like a god. Technically, it's made from. I'm wearing snail guns? Ah! 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 
Look how he strides. A confidence. If I didn't know better, I'd say there were two gods of Kithera. I found your disc. Praise me. Clearly, I have worked through you. Clearly. Time to meet the gods, then? I'd love to introduce you to my family. Of course, if you're ready to join me. A 
This should be interesting. That, my dear Mistios, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice! For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you. Ares demands your audience. That's a big promise. You doubt me? I doubt you could get us to the ocean. It's behind you, by the way. How dare you mock! I... I'm a god! A god! What am I? Uh... A god? Thanks for clearing that up. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth, and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? I wouldn't miss it. Let's go for us. Set sail! Awaiting your orders! Barnabas! You'll never believe what happened in Mesara. Actually, you probably will. You have my full attention! I found the legendary labyrinth near Knossos! Did you go inside? I defeated the Minotaur! <laughs> That's quite a story. Story? These are the gods we're talking about, the Nonotos! Tell me, what did the beast look like? Was he as ruthless as the legend say? He is. And smells pretty bad, too. <laughs> How could anyone possibly believe? I ripped out one of his horns. My gods! You're a hero of legend! And this artifact seems to have special abilities. The cult cannot get them out. You see the island? That is the best. Horrors! Commander leading the helm!
This war. You see? They're here! The, the gods are behind this door! Listen. I didn't mean to be away so long. Kithera is. Well, if you're looking to unleash a new plague somewhere. This is not what I expected. Camouflage, my unimaginative friend. A mere disguise to ward off those seeking the glory inside. Ah! You hear them too! There is something there. And whatever's making that noise must be two or three times the size of a man. Quickly, use the disc! Open the door! They're expecting us! Whatever's inside, I'm ready. My brothers and sisters! I hear you, my brothers, my sisters! Someone sounds very strong. Temper anywhere there is. Do not fear, brother. I shall comfort you soon. This is it. The realm of eternity. The house of the gods. Creators of the universe! Outstretch your mighty hands and raise me to the
more I have to stop them. I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We used to see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors have endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm
Sail up!
try to stay out of sight. Don't worry, it's curable. What's wrong? My workers are sick. At this rate, I won't be able to feed my own family, never mind theirs. The good news is, this isn't the work of the gods, but a sickness of the body. The throat in particular. I could treat the workers, if I had my medical supplies. Mistios, would you get them for me? I wouldn't want them to suffer. Well said. Such goodwill deserves a reward, doesn't it? Huh? Oh, 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 of course, of course, yes. I have something worthwhile to trade for the service. Will you do it? I'll find your supplies. Excellent. My tools are in Ancient Pearl, and the drugs are in Lover's Bay. Ancient Pearl is pretty big. Where exactly did you leave your tools? In the clinic at Vrisa Fort. Where exactly in Lover's Bay should I look? At the Leader House in Nidilini, northeast of the temple. I'll come back with your supplies. The faster you do, the sooner I can help the workers. I'll go get the tools and drugs. I should try to stay out of sight. Thank <laughs> you. 
the leader house. Said the medical tools are in Brisa Fort. Come on. Let's hope no one notices me here.
Must be very support. I found your supplies. Thank you. These are specialized items. I couldn't have replaced them in time. Oh, my grapes are saved! I get the feeling that's all you've cared about from the start. Without grapes, there is no work. By healing the workers, you've saved my farm. Take this.
It's been too long. What will I do? Let me know what you need. May the blessings of Hermes go with you. Customer. Come back anytime. Snake. What's going on? We will bring this evil creature to justice. They're lost in paranoia. They think I sacrificed my Ligia to the creature in the forest. Hold your fourth tongue. This walking curse is in league with a writhing dread. She just looks scared to me. Please, the creature took Ligia. If I die here, who will save her? I'll save Ligia and kill any creature that tries to stop me. What are you saying? She will lead you to the Petrified Temple and your doom. What exactly is this creature? Evil, heartless, unknowable. We must end this girl before she leads a writhing thread right to us. The forest where the creature lives, where is it? Beyond the Petrified Temple, north of here. A damned place, haunted by sage and filled with cursed stone. At its center lie ancient ruins from which few return. You mentioned Aliyah. She is... Beyond beauty, beyond grace, a daughter of Artemis. Brave, not like me. What dark prize did the writhing dread offer for her she soul? She lives, Mystios. I know it. If this writhing dread has let Lehia live, we'll need to move now. Follow me. Careful. These people are driven by fear. The girl's coming with me. I suggest not standing in our way. She's whispered spells in your ear, Mistios. Citizens, 
We must save our city! And these interlopers must bleed. Hide in the temple. I'll deal with this. They worship the right and threat. Kill them before they call its wrath upon us. <laughs> safe now. Safe? I don't want to be safe, Mistyos. I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more, even if it kills me. Be smart, be cautious, and with my help, you will look into your lover's eyes again. It doesn't need to cost your life. You know, I don't want to call you... You, forever. My name's Bris. Alexios. Ligia's waiting for me, Alexios. If I'd been captured, I'd never have to wait for her. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the Dread Ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? It's not safe here. We need to leave the city.
place is ours, Ligia's and mine. A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. What happened to these trees? I shouldn't be here. What is this place? It's empty of life. <laughs> Even the air is... dead. These statues are unnervingly lifelike, and their faces are contorted in fear. It destroys all living things, transforming them to stone and leaving them frozen in fear for all eternity. If Ligia... if she's... if she's stone, how will we bury her? She'll never meet her. Ligia! Ligia! Breach, wait! Malaka! Better go after her. Died. But I see no openings, and the walls are too smooth to climb. She shouldn't be in there. She should be in my arms. Her breath, her smell. Every night we'd meet at the dread ruins. I was late, just once. I wanted to find her a rose, something as perfect as she is. This is my fault. If I'd gotten there in time, Then you'd both be trapped inside. Together? You were searching for a rose. A gift. Never regret an act of kindness, please. Thank you. What do you know about this place? Ligia is a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Chios. I'll find it. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible. But many believe him. He might know something. You said Ligia knew how to get into the lair. Where exactly is the key? The daughters of Artemis hide their most prized possessions in a cave in their village. It's protected by wild beasts and fierce warriors. The key is shaped like a disc. If they have it, it will be there. This mercenary, the slayer of the writhing dread, where can I find him? He waits in a temple atop the hill in ancient peril. Champions from all over seek to challenge him to build their reputations, but there is no way he killed the creature. If he did, how was Ligia taken? Did you see the creature yourself? No, but only the writhing dread would be strong enough to take Ligia. She's too fierce. And too stubborn. I'll find a way inside, and then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose I should have given her that night. Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Alexios, hurry. Legion of the Ancient Pearl.
Of Artemis, how the priest said they'd be. The cave with the key must be nearby. There'll be trouble if I'm spotted. This is it. This looks like the place. Have you found a way inside the lair? Ligia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this... disc... key... this... <sighs> I have what opens the lair. Then what are you waiting for? 
Use the disc. Open the door. There's no time for the mercenary. Whatever he knows, we'll find out ourselves. We're opening that door. Now. You have Ligia's heart, Alexios. One myth speaks of turning victims to stone. I, I hear you, my love. Look at me, Ligia. Please. Ligia! Ligia? It's me. Please.
Gia must have picked up the artifact and transformed into that creature. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. You stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing the temple. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is... An opinion, Pythagoras. Though, one with reason behind it, I believe. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We each you see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures, don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. 
But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alethea says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Or do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness. Fiction. When I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invitation was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There's so much to learn. With this knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We? are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. Duh! We are not ready for the power this place offers. 
You're right. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Alexios, choose wisely. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then... Open Sesame! So much power! The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine! This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon! The Arctic! I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet. But there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. like it can move. Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. If you manipulate those light beams, they might illuminate something important.
right. His presence cannot be an accident. Got it! Where is it? What? True knowledge exists. good friend told me that once. Possible. Alexios. Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icaros is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh, no. You can keep it. It's broken. But you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Erothotos could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order, chaos. If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice. Freedom. Chaos. Pythagoras was right. 
You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have traveled from one end of the earth to the other. This belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Alexios again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevis. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world. It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had a staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. He was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all of the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. 
And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. <laughs> Perhaps he, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. 